Hello, welcome to Peter's Marine Service. My name is Bobby, and today I'll be going over this 2003 Sea Ray 260 Sun Dancer. The 260 Sun Dancer is a great boat for Sea Ray, one that many folks enjoy out in the water because of the length of the boat, 26 feet overall, but then you add the swim platform, you've got 28 foot of boat on the water. Also, at the full 8 foot 6 beam, real nice and wide and deep. This boat has a lot of depth to it. So if you get in some of the bigger water, Chesapeake down on the Jersey Shore, whatever the case may be, you have a lot of boat depth to run with in some pretty rough water out there. Boat's very nice on the outside. It's got a nice shine to it all the way down. Rub rail's in good condition. Suffice some, maybe some small scratches and things along those lines. You're bound to have that with a 2003 boat. Real nice with the stainless steel rail up top and also the anchor davit with a nice anchor on the front of it too as well. As I mentioned, the depth is absolutely amazing on this boat. There's just so much depth here that you can work with. Canvas, VHF antenna, all other kinds of good stuff too as well. As we move around towards the, towards the back of the boat here, you can see nice sleek lines on the boat, drop everything down to the swim platform on the back. And basically, we've got a nice working area here off the back of the boat. If we want to go out in the water, enjoy sitting in a cove or whatever the case may be, have a good amount of depth on the swim platform. You can see we've got a real wide swim platform. Plenty of room for folks to sit here, kick their feet in the water, whatever the case may be. And the stern drive, once it's in the down position, tucks below the swim platform. So basically, you don't have to worry about little Johnny jumping off to the left or right. He can jump off the swim platform anywhere he wants to, climb back on and go jump off again, like kids like to do. Sw the swim ladder off the back, nice deep three-step swim ladder, goes real far down into the water, real wide steps too as well. The steps are at least a foot, foot and a half across, so we've got a lot of space here, real easy to climb up onto the boat, and you know, one, two, three, you got a handle here, and then the handle right here to, to transition onto the swim platform too as well. Another nice thing, Sea Ray's known for this, when I fold this ladder up, I don't have the ladder laying up on top of the swim platform here, causing a possible trip hazard when you're docking or whatever the case may be. The ladder goes under this nice lid. Keeps it well protected so we don't get stubbed toes or anything along those lines as well, too. Um, real quick on the Bravo 3 Outdrive, before I make the cameraman move there, Bravo 3 Outdrive, twin counter-rotating propellers. Propellers spin in opposite directions, great tracking for this boat. The boat tracks very well, and as far as docking goes, when you put it in gear, the boat starts to move right away for you then, too, as well. Going up onto the boat, we got the back here. I'll let my cameraman transition around here a little bit, so that way we have a good working here. Um, you can see, even though we've got a 260 Sun Dancer, the boat's still built for water sports, too, as well. This is the nice thing. There's a ski tow eye built right into here. You can tube, you can tow off of this thing, if you so desire to. So it still has the horsepower. It's not such a big cruiser that you can't do some basic functions off the back of it. Little Johnny can come up, jump off, swim in the water, and then he can also hop on the tube, and you can pull him around the lake, too, as well. Real nice features. Also, here's the inlet for the shore powers. Inside this nice trunk locker, plenty of room for bumpers cables, whatever we need. The boat does have shore power, so it's got a shore power cable too. Hookups for water and also TV too as well. Lots of nice features here. If you come on up board here, we'll go inside of the boat and take a little bit more, take a look a little bit more at it. One nice thing about this boat is the amount of space that's in it. I mean, we're a 26 foot long boat and you can see there is a ton of room inside of this boat. I've got seats across the back, a bench seat. I've got a bench seat here. And I also have a wrap L bench seat here, too, as well, with a lounger. So there's lots of room, in addition, of course, to the all-important captain seat, too, as well. But all the seats, real comfortable. They're in decent condition. The vinyl's not great, but it's not bad either, too, at the same time. I can lean back. I can relax here. In the back, room here. There's also a table that can go in here, too, as well, that's equipped on the boat. So we can have a nice table here for games and whatnot, too, as well. In addition to that, too, as well, this seat actually does release and drop down to a full sun pad across here, too. So now we've got a lounging area where traditionally on a cruiser you would not have that area on this boat. 
lock that down again so it doesn't move. Nice little wet bar here with a handle too as well to hold on to. In addition to the wet bar, you can see it's all integrated here. This is one component here, all glassed right into the floor. And the nice thing about doing this is it's a very solid component. It's actually part of the boat. You know, I can't shake anything here. If I'm in rougher seas or I'm have to, having to sit here, great grab handles here to hold on with. Storage below it, cup holders, and even an integrated step into the side too as well. So if I'm going out, I'm at the dock and I need to transition to get onto the dock for dock lines or whatever the case may be, one step here, one step here, and then I'm out of the boat too as well. So lots of nice space in here too. In addition to that too, we got the all important captain's helm seat. Nice bucket seat, wrap around, thigh rise bolster. So if I want to, I can sit down while I'm running the boat, real nice and relaxing position here. Or if I need to get up above the windshield, see out over the water more, I have the ability to pop up the thigh rise, and now I have a nice view right over the dash and over the instrument panel and everything along those lines too as well. Nice area in here, very easy to keep clean, and a great area for entertaining, taking family and friends out on the water. Also, in addition to that too as well, take a look on our website. We'll have pictures up there of it. We have two tops. We have a bimini top and a camper top. When these two tops open up, it creates a roof across this entire area. In addition to that, canvas. Three front visors, two side curtains, another two side curtains, and an aft curtain. Basically what it does is it takes this entire area and encloses it. We have screens and things along those lines, so that way we can enjoy the time out there, even if it's a little bit cool out in the water too as well. Come on in here real quick, and I'll take a, take a, take a short look at the dash real quick. And basically what we have here Real nice layout on the dash. Got all our gauges here on, on two tiers. Basically, we have the top tier here for all of our engine functions, and then we have the lower tier where we have some controls, depth finder, stereo control, key switch, and your basic controls for function, horn, things along those lines. Everything works, too, as well. Everything's in good, proper working order. This customer took care of his boat to make sure it was mechanically sound. Trim tabs and a VHF radio too as well. And I'll add too, you know, C-Ray makes things very comfortable. So everything's right here. I've got a nice steering wheel, good grips to hold on to, control box here. Everything I need is right within reach of me so I can operate the boat properly. Now, let's say there's a problem out in the bow of the boat and I've got to get out there and I've got to take care of the anchor, cleat, or whatever the case may be. To go up there, Beautiful steps integrated right into the door. Nice wide steps too. Lots of space here for secure footing with the non-skid on it. That goes here and up on top too as well. So if I have to get out there to take care of the anchor, cleats, whatever the case may be, one, two steps, and I'm up onto the deck of the boat. Real easy, real safe. Many other times you'll see, let me close that up real quick. Many other times you'll see manufacturers that have very small steps here to get up onto the deck of the boat, or they're real tiny here too as well. Not real safe when you're out in the water and things are moving around on you on a regular basis. That's the cockpit area. Down into the cabin we'll go just to get a better idea of what this boat offers. Really into the living space here. There's a lot of space down in here in the cabin of this boat. Basically offers a lot as far as storage and also v-berth sleeping area cooking and cleaning and things along those lines start first with the v-berth um, nice fabric in here gosh the stuff looks brand new it doesn't look like this guy ever slept out on it or used it out in the water the v-berth wraps all the way around nice and very comfortable too as well in addition we've got storage here storage up here and storage here too as well storage underneath too A nice table up in the bow here. Table comes out, goes right here. So if I want to eat, play games, whatever the case may be, I have the table here too as well. Also, the table will drop down into a lower position. And these cushions come right off and drop in, and that gives you your V-Bird for at night too as well. So it's a very versatile area, and uh, the fabric is its really in good condition down here. Almost, almost new, I would say, just by the way it looks down in here. Skylight too as well to let some light in too as well. 
Also, I've got a hanging closet, some AC remote control features there too as well. The boat does have air conditioning and heating too as well. And a CO2 monitor, a little bit out of view there kind of thing. On to the galley. Galley's real nice, and can we get that okay on the camera there? We okay on that? Okay, we'll come around and do a switch here real quick. That way you guys can, can clearly see the galley. There we go. Okay. Galley's real nice. Um, lots of working room here. I mean, we've got a nice clean surface here. Nice sink, hot and cold water. Storage to the right. Storage to the left. Microwave right in the center here. Plus, a ton of storage up here. Lots of area up here to put things up here too as well. Sink, also the stove, it's an alcohol stove. Oh, I'm sorry, butane stove, butane stove that's here. In addition to that too as well, we've got the refrigerator and more storage here too as well. So we got storage all over this galley here so that way we can operate. Nice light above and everything like that along those lines too as well. And once again, very clean, very nice. In addition to that too as well, there's a nice electrical closet here. It's got our stereo in it. That's one nice thing. C-Ray doesn't pop the stereo up on the dash. There's a remote up on the dash. Keep the stereo down here and well protected. Very nice clearing system. Good sound that comes out of that. Our shore power functions are here. And also there's a six disc CD changer down there too as well. Plus additional storage below that too as well. So lots of, lots of places to put things like you need to out in the water. Move on to the head compartment here. Head compartment is a vac flush head compartment. Basically, we've got a, a toilet here that actually does flush. In many cases, you'll have um, toilets that are just kind of camping toilets. You basically keep the waste in there, and then it gets pumped out. This waste here actually flushes, and it gets held in a storage tank in the back of the boat. Real, ni real nice setup, um, uh, and quite pricey, too, from new to have a setup like this in the boat. Also, we do have a, um, a washing area there, too, as well, and even showering, too, as well. Not huge but it does the function very nicely. Also, in addition to that too as well, there's just garbage can underneath here. And then we also do have, of course, the mid cabin, which is back in here too as well. I'd crawl in there, but I'm not the smallest of guys, so it takes me a little bit to get in there. The area is fairly, fairly large too. Basically, I've got a large area here, and once you get in there, it is a full double berth too as well. So there's a good amount of space in there too as well, and also good ventilation too as well. There's a window here that allows air to ventilate through too as well, so we can move some air in. Well, with the air conditioning and heating too, it's also nice you can circulate air through there without a problem. Okay, that's all I can think of on this particular boat. If you have any further questions or would like to set up a time to see it, please feel free to give us a call. Once again, I'm Bobby from Peter's Marine, and thank you for watching.